Oh, welcome. Hey, hey, a new one. Hey, my goodness. Uh, look, look at you. Look at you, fresh off the street. I, uh, you, you, are you thirsty? Well, if you were thirsty, I think you'd have a glass of water, right? Well, we're not known for water. Well, as I said to someone a while back, if you want the water, I'll have to, uh, Get that in the sink out back now. No. You saw the word outside that said pub. Pub. No. This is just one board. One board that I'll set a glass on. And I will fill with... See this uh, tap right here? That dispenses very special liquid. A liquid that, um, well, I'll just uh, cut off right there. Let me uh, get you a uh, glass right here. All right. All right. Now let's just. Uh, hmm. Oh, well. Uh, no, don't, no. Don't, uh, don't turn around now. Uh, listen, uh, get this up and running uh, here. I believe the uh, spigot is not turning enough. Oh, oh, well, that's um, now it seems to be. Yep, it's turning too much now. Oh, and now it's um, ooh, it's hanging a little bit off there. Um, hmm. Now why don't you seat yourself there and just face me? And uh, I will attend to this. Now, I turn it like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I put my ear here and I hear. Now, you know what it sounds like? It sounds like air rushing through a rubber tube. Now, I see that rubber tube runs from this spigot right here down below the bar i can't see it right now but perhaps you can right there that's the uh that's the keg we keep uh well i like to say proof that is 40 proof and perhaps my math is off that is 15 proof still off 20 proof 10 percent alcohol by volume Mac Adams beer, stout, aged 500 years in a barrel. Oh, by the way, did you happen to see the name of this uh, place when you were coming in? This is the Jefferson Avenue Way Station. Reason being, you come here on your way to another place. Or this is your destination. Really... I've uh, never considered any one place to be. Uh, oh, my goodness, you seem to be a bit restless. Now let's try to figure this out here. All right. Now I keep trying that. And I think in my awkwardness, I am not trying anything different. Now I'm going to ask you, um, do you have any plumbing know-how? Hmm. Okay, yeah, all right, uh, that's fine. Um, now, do you happen to have a wire on hand? You see, I, I could run that wire down into the spigot, up through there, and then down into the, into the uh, keg. Now, you see, this stout is quite strong. It might produce some particulate matter that will congeal into a mucosa. You know, see, uh, we've always said in technical school that plumbing is much like someone's sinus systems. And the only way to really fix them is to run a hard wire through them. I've never done that to my own sinus, you see, because I fear for the softer tissues in there, but I'm confident that should something unrelenting find its way up there, I'll have an aluminum wire.
wire ready to dislodge that issue. Now I'm just uh, I'm uh, buying time here, hoping that uh, I could get that. I, while I'm doing this, uh, just get that ten dollars ready. It is uh, ten dollars uh, to buy this. Oh, here we are. <laughs> Don't know why I have this aluminum wire because you see this hasn't occurred before. This liquid it tends to run pretty smoothly. All right, that's a uh, all right. Okay, that is uh, it's gone halfway in there. Um, might sound a little different. That is the that is the wire scratching off the inner surface of the rubber tubing. Oh, gee, ooh, what does that sound? I don't think it's anything to worry about. Here, let's run that through a little bit more. Oh, oh. Can you uh, take a look down there? What is the state of the keg? I see. Hmm, it's open, you say. Not connected to the tube. Oh, yeah, oh, my. And it is not overflowing. Now, if there was any of that beer in there, it should be spilling onto the floor, causing quite a mess for me. But oh, I am uh, I'm relieved to see that that is not the case right now. Except this means that the keg is empty. So why have you come here? There's no beer here. Just kidding, don't go and sit back down and listen. I'll be right back. I'm going to get that keg in the storeroom. You see, uh, I buy these from the distributor as kegs. I wouldn't do that if I were drinking these by myself. I'd buy them. Oh, my goodness. You see, I leave my uh, cell phone on the counter here because sometimes my father calls me and says that he is dying. And every time he's done that, he wasn't dying. And I sound disappointed about that. I am not disappointed about that. I am merely perturbed that he pushes his moral dread onto me. I have enough dread in my life. I dread situations like this. Um, oh, you know what? That cell phone. Here, hold on a minute. I just sit tight. Listen, um, there is a nice uh, coffee top, coffee table book right there. Um, if you uh, look underneath the newspapers there, um, those are photographs of inflorescence. That's like the cross section of the flower. Uh, many different types, all um, all illustrated by Haeckel. Very, uh, very uh, accomplished artist. Now, bear with me here. Oh, I don't have his number saved. Um, this is the distributor here. Um, he doesn't normally open up. Uh, he doesn't normally pick up, so you might. Oh, uh, father texted me again saying that his hip is going through his brain. Well, that's not kind of embarrassing when I'm trying to reach my distributor. Yeah, Schmendrick, hey. Right? No, I know. Yeah. All right. Yeah, um, yeah, I need another one of those, you know. Um, okay. Yeah. No, I'll, um, I'll, yeah, I'll be right here. Listen, I have a customer here, so, oh, uh, hmm. Could you be quicker than that? Yeah, I understand. I understand. Listen, um, how much is it again? Oh, no. Um, yeah, yeah, listen. Uh, how about 200? Yes, right right now, please. Please. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you very much. All right. You have a lovely day. I'll see you soon. All right. Well, he should be here in two hours. He uh, works at Rehoboth, so he has to uh, take his van up here. He has to load up and all that. Um, that's... In his defense, that's only for uh, $200 on my part. Yeah.
but uh, I'm paying a little bit more to get it faster for you. Um, I mean, I, I suppose you can come back later, but look at that. Look at those illustrations. Look at those. That Did you know that they had those? Did you know that biologists saw flowers that way? I didn't until I saw those 19th century drawings. You see, uh, we don't we don't make drawings like that anymore. No, we uh, we're often too tired to do that. You see, I have this damn thing in my hand, pardon the language, but we are often encumbered by that, and not encumbered by this this liquid here. Um, but I wish I wish we were. I wish we were back went back to the point in which our main vice was this horrible, horrible liquid. I, I've only had it once. Uh, a previous customer would not drink it at all. It, oh, it will, yeah, please come back later. Um, we, it will be here. Um, uh, you will see the, uh, you will see a nice tall glass of this liquid. Oh. Well, couldn't be bothered with the formality of a proper goodbye, even though, even though we, I, I felt a rapport built there between me and that lady that uh, I only saw just, just now. She was a new person in my life. She was a person I didn't know existed, and now she's gone. If my wife heard me speaking about a strange lady like this, she would be suspicious. Granted, I would be had the situations been reversed. Anyway, well, if this if this keg's not going to be here anytime soon, I am going to lay down on this futon right here. Well, I say good night to the ether. This is Jefferson Avenue Way Station, and I will talk to you again next week.